Hello everyone, welcome to another very exciting video. Today I'm going to be showing you, as I promised, the progress of Kotus.com and Kotus UI library. Uh, this is going to be the new version of Kotus.com. We are pretty excited about it. As you can see, uh, we have uh, recreated the sort of theme that we had in mind uh, for Kotus.com. So just to get this story going, uh, you can obviously when it gets released in the I guess at the end of next week, hopefully after we finish fixing the bugs and you know maybe some minor tweaks and stuff, uh, you will see like this page where you have uh, the UI framework link, the editor, Codeness editor that you're already familiar with, and the documentation of the library, and you have like links to different sections, you know, if you want to learn the resources that you have. Uh, so let's get started. Initially, I'm going to go ahead and sign up. So let's go ahead and sign up, let's say, uh, frontend uh, at gmail.com and then a password. And then I'll say update me on new prototypes and latest tutorials. So I'm just going to create a free account. And then as you can see, I'm already logged in. Uh, I do have this account uh, link over here, which I can go ahead and change a bunch of stuff in my profile. And then I, uh, the most important thing is this projects link. So it automatically creates like an untitled project for me in Kotus.com. This is basically where you manage the sort of themes and, you know, the components that you have for the projects that you use with uh, Kotus UI. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe rename it to something like, you know, it can be anything like an interface that you're developing or a company. I'm just going to call it like abc.com for now. Uh, now, if I go into the project, you can see that, um, you know, I'm in my abc.com namespace in the project. And uh, there are a bunch of components that uh, we are developing alongside the Kotus UI library. For example, yesterday we developed the read more uh, component. Uh, as you can see, if I go inside it, you have a, a sort of a preview of how it works. So you press read more and read less. It's pretty straightforward component. And then if you press on the view code here, you can see the code, the HTML code, and then the SCSS, uh, which is predominantly the uh, sort of uh, preprocessor uh, language that we use for the for generating the CSS uh, in the library. And then we have the JS, right? So let's close it down. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. I go to back to components. So these 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 are like UI components, and then you have this beautiful theme and colors editor. And there is like a science behind it. This generally creates uh, you know very nice themes for the components of Kotus UI library that you can incorporate in your website, and you automatically gets this professional look and feel uh, on your website. So let me open the theme editor here. As you can see. Uh, there's like the color section with like the primary color and secondary color, the success color that you can use in your project, the warning and error. Uh, alongside the background and main color, you have typography uh, that you can use in your project. Uh, and let's get started with like tweaking a little bit. So this is like completely interactive. Let's say you want to have like a background color that you can press on this and choose, uh, you know, whatever you want to choose. Let's just for the sake of it, let's choose this background color and the foreground color. It can be a little bit gray maybe. Uh, and as you can see, the moment I, you know, change these colors, uh, it gets reflected uh, in the layout and you can kind of get to see how the colors match together. And by the way, you can press the preview up here and you kind of get a feeling of how uh, some of the Kotus UI libraries will look like, uh, like the border colors, you know, and the way the uh, forms look like, you know, the drop down menu, uh, you know, if you have a dialogue, for example, uh, in your website and, you know, a footer, for example. So this is pretty good preview of the components and you can kind of tune it uh, based on how you like. So, for example, I can have like a navy color for my or not a navy, probably yellow color. Uh, and then maybe a navy color for the front, uh, for the foreground color. We can see that it automatically generates the shades for me and the, the site looks like this. Uh, maybe I don't like the primary color here. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't match. For example, I can go in the primary color on the left menu and then change it to something else, whatever you know, you feel like you want your website to have as your primary color. And you can see that it automatically applies those to your theme. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to my project. 
uh, and you know there is a view code section it tells me where to copy this code uh, in the uh, Kotos UI framework uh, so that it gets applied to my uh, theme. So, so far so good. You can see that the moment you apply a new theme and go back and open up the com com component, you can see that that theme gets applied to the components and you can kind of get a feeling of how it would look like, right? So now that you have defined your theme and you're, for example, happy with it, the next uh, step is really a repository that we're going to put on, uh, you know, uh, GitHub that you need to clone first and foremost. So for the moment, I have already went ahead and copied this, uh, you know, framework library. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear it. And the way it works is that you clone the library and then you do npm or yarn install uh, to install the dependencies. Yarn, for those of you who do not know, is like a npm. It's a node package manager. Uh, it's it's a little bit faster, uh, you know that node that's why i'm using it and then when you install the dependencies which i already have you can go ahead and type yarn uh, run gulp uh, and we use gulp for you know uh, the automation of uh, this and it automatically as you can see opens up a page uh, and then what you can do is going back to you know your library in the themes editor open the theme editor go to the code and then copy this piece of code I already have the project open here, as you can see over here. So this is the Kotus UI framework that you're going to see next week, hopefully by the end of it. And the more important, you know, folders are public and then SRC. So SRC, you can see that there is this index.html where you put your HTML files. Uh, and then you have like the JavaScript and the SCSS part. So I'm going to go ahead, for example, here. Uh, and go to the, the if you go to the back to this page you can see that it says where to put it it's src scss globals so going back here i have src scss and then globals and i have this global scss uh, so i'm going to remove this for now and then copy this code paste it over here and save it the moment i save it you can see that the theme uh, at least right now, the background color gets applied exactly the same way as you have defined it over here right so now if i go back for example let's say i want to use this readme component right so the way i do it i go to the view code i copy this html by pressing on this right link copy html going back to vs code in my code in the index.html as you can see every link that we need for the kotus to work is already there so i'm just going to go ahead and paste this over here right the moment i paste it you can see that the browser automatically adds that to my page right now i need two more files over here one is the scss it actually tells me the suggested name that i can use and the location that this file needs to be it's in src scss components so i'm going to copy this going back to the vs code uh, and in the components in scss i'm going to create a new file i call it underline um, read more and then SCSS and then I paste that SCSS over here just like that going back again here in the JavaScript I'm going to go ahead and copy this JavaScript it also tells me where to put the file obviously this is wrong uh, we need to fix this but it's generally instead of SCSS it's in JS and components right so I'm going to go ahead and create a new file I call it read more .js and then I paste it over here right so finally in order for the style of this to work in the scss we have this kotus.scss and we need to import this file and that's pretty easy so if i open it i just go ahead and import this new file that i created so import and i know it's in uh, you know components and then it's called readmore.scss right there you go now if i go back here you can see that the you know style of this already gets applied and if i press on it you can see that it generally has this uh, read more and read less obviously this doesn't look very good i can go here uh, in the components section and then i have the documentation for the kotus ui library and then i can go here you can see that it generally has the information on some of the basic components that we have like you know the grid system top navigation you know buttons and all that and then the components uh, that we uh, included as part of the Kotus UI library. 
and we thought they are cool to be actually included. So now if I go to top navigation, uh, I need to fix this as well, but I can go ahead and maybe, or maybe let's go to grid first. Let's go to the uh, grid, grid system. So I can have like a container, CDT container. It actually, I can just copy this, but also I can just know that this is CDT container. By the way, we are developing like snippets for VS Code and, you know, those editors that uh, are mostly used by you. So here I can go ahead in the index and I can just add like a CDT container. And then I can just paste this piece of code that I added for my readme inside the CDT container. So if I go back, you will see that it automatically refreshes and it's kind of like uh, in the container, but also I can just, you know, change the, I can give it like a style, let's say main container and go into the head, add a style, and then say my main container is actually, let's say, um, has a width of 600 pixel and then it has a margin of uh, you know perhaps uh, 60 pixel and auto so 60 pixel from uh, top and bottom and then auto for the left and right right so now if i go here you can see that it automatically applies those settings for me and i have this readme i mean this is not the only thing i can do i can go back to the kotos ui library maybe go to navigation and then copy you know uh, this piece of code over here uh, and then paste it in my index so i can go ahead and paste it uh, perhaps here and then if i go back you can see that it automatically adds the navigation for me right up here so it's as easy as that you, you can go ahead easily in the documentation here take a look at the most general things that you can use for example you know i can use tabs or you know cards or you know buttons or whatever drop down uh, and then they uh, instantly start working in the kotus ui library right and then finally everything will get uh, sort of published in the public so that's the folder that you need to deploy uh, to see your website right so yeah i mean uh, that's pretty much the kind of uh, comprehensive progress uh, on the kotus ui library i hope you enjoy this um, we're very excited about this uh, we're going to go ahead and add many more components that we think are pretty much used in all the websites but imagine that you have this amazing powerful theme library that you can define your themes with you can go ahead by the way and i can i can show you that you can actually have more themes here i can make it make it like a dark theme and go ahead and you know change it maybe a little bit darker here and make it this one a bit uh, whiter for the foreground color uh, so now you can see that you know your layout will look like this in the dark and you can have the default color so i can go ahead for example in the dark I can actually save this to my project and view the code. Let's go ahead and copy this code. Going back to VS Code, uh, I already know this by heart, but the moment you start using the framework, you kind of get the same. So I can go to the globals and paste the new. So now I have like a data theme dark as well. Uh, let's go back to the, uh, uh, the framework and then go to documentation. We have this section in the framework called footers. So I can go ahead and add some sort of a footer here. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe copy the link, so the sort of HTML for, you know, one of these footers down here. I can copy this. Going back to the VS code, go to index.html. And then down here, I can just paste it. And then if I go back, you can see that we already have like a ready-made footer that we can go ahead and manipulate. But also one cool thing now is that I can actually add my new theme that I have defined in, uh, you know, the theme editor uh, right here. So if I go back to the themes and colors editor, you can see that I actually have a new theme, which is the dark theme. So I can go ahead here in the uh, in my VS code and wherever I added my footer here, I can actually say data theme and then I can just say dark. Right. Now, if I go back here, you can see that it automatically applies this new theme to my component. And you can see that how beautiful this separation and segregation of themes is. And you can easily apply and you can create multiple themes and apply it to the different sections or on your website. And that's also pretty cool. The other cool thing is that 
I can go ahead here and change the typography, right? Right now the typography is uh, Rubik. I can go to Google Fonts, for example. Let's say, I don't know, I like the font for, uh, I don't know, some some nice fonts. Uh, let's choose, let's just, let's just choose this one for now. So I can go ahead and select this uh, theme here. I can go to the embed and copy this, you know, link over here, going back to my a theme editor, I can paste it instead of the this one. And then also I can go back here and get the font family over here. And going back to the document and you can see I can add it like this. And you can see that it already, how beautiful it actually applied that theme to my page, right? So if I save this, for example, save the project here, uh, you already have this beautiful font as well in your theme that you can use in your project. Right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's pretty exciting for us to have this uh, sort of project management, a new way of generally developing websites pretty easily and quickly. This is like pretty much 20 times faster if you want to develop it normally just by, you know, uh, writing the, the website yourself. Now you can have have your website done uh, pretty much 20 times faster almost. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned by the end of next week when we finish uh, uh, the library and upload the new Kotus.com. And we're looking forward for your beautiful feedbacks. Uh, have a great day and night. Uh, see you next time and goodbye. By the way, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thanks.